Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm your host, Pat McSherry, and on this week's episode, it's Brad Hawthorne and I on Lake Mille Lacs. Now Brad and I like to get out fishing as soon as we can get out on the mud flat, it seems like every year. And this year, we're just a little bit too early the way our dates kind of lined up. We were not able to get out on the mud. In fact, a lot of the ice that's on the shoreline break is shifting around a ton on Mille Lacs right now. So make sure you keep that in mind. We were not able to get to the areas that we really wanted to but we are still able to stay on a safe sheet of ice, get out on that first break, 19 to 20 feet of water, and get a nice batch of fish put together. So this week, it's Brad Hawthorne and I on In-Depth Outdoors. All right, Brad and I are just getting going for the day. Uh, we're on the north end of Mille Lacs Lake. Early ice, as you can see, we got a pretty active crack that's keeping us from being able to get out quite deep enough to where we want to be. There's probably a way we could get around it, but we're just not going to risk that. You know, these active cracks push in and out, and if you get yourself on the wrong side of that crack, uh, you can be calling for rescue. So we're going to stay on the safe side of the crack today and it might be more of a morning evening bite, but hopefully we'll get on some fish. Just marked one out here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm marking one right now. Ooh, there we go. Woo! Good one. Get out of that deucer. Oh, come here. Not a giant, nice. not a giant, but he definitely came up and smacked that UV green rattler spoon. And kind of what we, kind of what we're doing, man, is we're just, uh, just kind of bouncing around. Now that would be like a tasty little one if you could eat him, but he's got to go back. I don't see anything moving, but you never know. Looks like it is off to the side. He's there. Oh yeah. Nice. We had a little bit of a slow start to our morning. I don't know if it was just from kind of that early ice making a lot of racket that the fish kind of scattered, but as the sun gets up a little higher here, we're definitely getting a little more action. There we go. Nice fish. Pop that hook out there. All right, we'll get that fish back right away. So yeah, we're just kind of getting going. Um, you know, we've moved a couple times here. Definitely the ice is shifting a lot. We, you know, we got early ice right now, but we're on the northeast side of the lake. We got a southwest wind and uh, we're just kind of playing it safe. You know, there's a lot of areas we'd like to get to that we just can't right now. So we're playing it safe. We're fishing the areas that we can right now. We're in about 19 feet of water right on the first break. And we've got a couple on the ice now. So we'll just kind of keep pecking away at it and see what we can do. So what we've kind of been dealing with out here since the start of the ice season is, you know, it was warm, then it gets cold, then it's warm, then it gets cold, and then it decides to blow for a day, and then the ice kind of jockeys around and shifts, and we've had quite a few ice rescues, and what I've been doing is just, you know, you find a safe area with thick ice, and you fish it, you know what I mean, until we can, until the lake 
quits moving around and settling in, that's about all you can do. And as you can see, we're picking off our fish and just kind of staying safe so you don't have to call the helicopter to come and get you. Whoa, there he is. There you go, Pat. Get up here. There he is. Boy, I had that fish yo-yo like four times on that tumbler spoon. I put a jig wrap down. He didn't even think twice. Really? That, you just threw on a jig wrap? Yeah, I had a jig wrap rod sitting next to me. There nice fish there. I dropped it down. No bait on it, no nothing. He just came in and crushed it. There you go. <laughs> fun fish. You know, that's probably a 18 inch or so. Just a fun fish to catch through the ice. Hopefully we'll get on some nicer ones later on. Well, if I can catch them on a jig wrap all day, I'm not gonna complain about that. That's just a number five jig wrap. Green UV, one of my favorite colors for out here. All right. Ice fishing's been put on notice. Strike Master's gonna kick your gas. Meet the lithium 24 volt auger, the 14 pound powerhouse that crushes the performance of standard cordless drills. Lighter weight, more holes per charge, all in a compact design that puts the 24 volt from Strike Master in a class by itself. No more gas and oil, no more lugging around your heavy two stroke auger. It's time to make the switch to Strike Master. Kick your gas. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters is the number one ice fishing headquarters. We have everything you need from today's firearms to the latest fishing electronics and the hottest footwear and outdoor apparel. We only carry the best brands at the best prices. Have a question? No problem. We have the most knowledgeable team in the business ready to answer your call personally seven days a week. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota or touching your screen with our state-of-the-art distribution center, we can get you gear when you need it fast. Cast or blast, Reeds has the best service, best advice, and best price guaranteed. Brad, flag up. There we go. Got him up. Definitely picking up. What I'm noticing is, another little guy. What I'm noticing is, the ice, when the ice quiet downs for 15, 20 minutes, that's when we're getting these fish. You know, the ice has just been making a whole lot of racket ever since first light this morning. Like I said, we're fishing safe areas and we're actually having fun. I mean, we're catching some fish. It's not a barn burner of a bite, by, but I guarantee you, we should probably have, I don't know, 25, 35 fish by the end of the day. And it's fun and we're out of Mille Lacs ice fishing. So, you know, I would encourage you guys, one thing to do is when you're coming up this season, just cause of all the ice racket and everything, make sure you spend that extra five minutes with your resort owner when you're accessing the lake. Just talk with them, make sure you're up to date on things. If they tell you not to go past a crack, don't go past it. And come on up here and have some fun fishing. Here he is. There he is. Oh, yes, Pat. Boy, he came in and just smoked it. Really? Yeah. Feels like a decent fish. Like decent, like you want me to land him or you got him? Oh, I got him. He's just Malak special. Oh, there you go. Hey, that was a fun one, though. He was uh, kind of blinking in right on the bottom, just kind of giving you that little bit of a yellow flicker. 
and uh, I was kind of getting ready thinking oh something might be coming through and man it was just like that boom he came up a foot off the bottom and smoked it and I just switched baits this is actually a an old style but a new color of VMC spoon I'll throw that fish back uh, that's a tumbler spoon 1 8 ounce in a new glow hot perch uh, that's a color that Rapala is offered in a lot of their crankbaits and jig wraps, things like that, summer baits. But they just added that to their line of VMC spoons and it's one of my favorite colors so I'm guessing it's going to be a really good one on the ice too. I'm going to grab another minnow head and get down there. We're kind of getting to that middle of the day time period where I should say the middle of the day is starting to get into evening. You know, we're still two hours before dark here, but light levels are starting to just drop a little bit. We just had an iFish Pro flag go up and that one just came in a bit. So there might be a little bit of activity going on. Hopefully we can get on a couple more here. There he is. Nice. Man, he took it and he must have started swimming back at me. I thought he had dropped it. That's the one thing, you know, slower days like today, your set lines, like, granted it's nice popping fish on jigging spoons, but your set lines are really, really gonna be where you're gonna take a, a good day and turn it into a, turn it into a great day, you know? Whoa. So there you go. I fish pro fish again it's kind of proof in the pudding there so if you guys come to Malax, you know and you're like having a slow day you're getting a lot of fish that are like yo-yoing you on on your jigging spoons downsize your jigging spoon i downsize mine and then rely heavier on your set lines you know if you have four or five guys out i'd actually put more of those the set lines out than jig rods see you later we'll get this guy back down in the water here and I think I'm gonna throw that sucker on that one it was about like that. So I'm gonna duplicate that. Another thing to remember, Mille Lacs can be fickle. If you start getting bit on one thing, don't change it, you know? Rinse and repeat. I'm gonna go grab another six inch sucker, hook it and throw it back down. In-depth outdoors, spot on the spot ID. On this week's spot on the spot ID, I'm just gonna give a quick explanation of our mindset out there on Mille Lacs. Now, Take in mind that from when this airs and the day that we were out there, ice conditions are probably gonna change quite a bit. Uh, they could be better, they could be worse. We don't know yet, but the day that we were out there where we really would like to get on a first break bite on Mille Lacs is somewhere where you have access to deep water. And the reason that is, is because you're gonna have a better all day bite. Because those fish, when they slide off the break, they're still gonna bump into you from time to time throughout the day because they're gonna spend their day out here. They might slide up just a little bit, hit your lines, come out. You'll always have fish milling through. And that's one key component to having a good all day bite on Mille Lacs on the first break. Now this area had a really active ice sheet and we just were not able to get out there comfortably. So we were stuck down here. You know, we had a Southwest wind. It's kind of pinning all the ice tight up here. We knew that we weren't gonna have any issues getting on or off the lake safely. And so in that instance, we wanted to be tight to the break. So we had our best action in 18 to 19 feet, but this is all 18 to 19. But we were right on the edge, right where it goes from that 16 to 19. And what that gave us is a really good evening bite. We knew that if we sat out, we would be able to pick off a few fish throughout the day, but we would have a great evening bite if we were tight to that break. So use those ideas anytime that you're fishing early ice on any of the big bodies of water, Mille Lacs, Red Lake, Lake of the Woods. Those first breaks can produce some great early ice bites. Introducing the new Pro Suit Jacket and Bibs from Strike Master. Built for the coldest, toughest conditions, the Pro Suit features a ripstop polyester outer shell that is as comfortable as it is durable. A puff liner jacket adds both warmth and versatility, while integrated SOS stay on surface flotation provides up to two hours of flotation when the jacket and bibs are worn as a pair. Strike Master, the hottest brand on the ice. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. 
Cyclonic Flow Rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup and a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Does your sonar offer dual spectrum chirp, producing razor sharp images on an ultra bright HD display? The ability to tailor the display to the way you fish. Precision GPS functionality with legendary Lake Master mapping to move effortlessly from ice to open water. If not, you should be fishing an Ice Helix, the electronic system that offers all the features and performance successful ice anglers demand, only from Humminbird. Suffix Advanced Mono is now on ice. Our toughest and most sensitive mono ever offers 50% less stretch than standard monofilaments. That means your hook sets are rock solid with virtually no line memory, no matter how cold the conditions. The line you choose is your direct connection between you and your next big bite. With Suffix, there's nothing you can't catch. Always use the best line. This winter, choose Suffix Advanced Ice Monofilament, the mono that thinks it's a braid. Looks like we're off to the side. You know, things are definitely starting to pick up here over the last half an hour. We're kind of getting into that, oh yeah, he's still there. Getting into that good time frame. And I believe we got another walleye here. And this was a, I think a shiner minnow on this guy. Oh yeah, there we go. Another walleye, Malac Special, it seems like these Early season first break fish, you do get a lot of these smaller ones. You know, 15 to 20 inch fish. Every once in a while you'll get those 23 to 25s, but still a lot of fun to get out here early ice and catch them. That one's blinding an eye. Back you go. All right. And then we're just running the same setup we always do for these I fish pro rigs, just a sure set treble and split shot above it just to keep them pinned down there. That one came on a golden shiner, I believe. It's kind of been about a 50-50 sucker shiner mix, but we'll just keep, keep them going. I'll put another shiner down on this one. Come on. Another one of them. Nice. Uh -oh. That one looks a little better. Yeah. Maybe one of those mid and low 20s we were hoping for. I hope so. You know, we've had our fill of those 16 to 18s. Yeah, the, <laughs> the first break wonders. Oh yeah, it's a nicer fish. For sure it is. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Right on. So that just proves, I mean, first break, you're gonna get some decent fish. Oh, heck You know yeah. what I mean? That's They're not right. all gonna be like, you know, 18, 19s, which for a lot of anglers, you know, coming out and having a day and catching, what do you got, 16 to 19 inch fish? Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't have a tape on me, but that'd probably be close to one you could keep right there. Yeah, it probably would. That's worth noting. The uh, slot on Mille Lacs this year is 21 to 23. And that guy right there. He's right there. He's right there. That's a big keeper fish. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get this guy back. There he is. Oh, I think we're onto something here, Pat. Well, that light gets a little lower and I think they're getting a little more fired up. What color are you using? I'm still rocking that uh, glow hot perch and that tumbler spoon. I think as we get a little bit darker, I might switch to a rattle spoon, something to maybe call them in a little bit more. Okay. Oh yeah, oh, yeah it's a little nicer fish. There we go. Fatty. <laughs> that one's not missing a meal. <laughs> that one's never heard of Jenny Craig. <laughs> Even saved my minnow head there. There we go. Nice. It's a little bit nicer fish there. Plump, definitely not missing many meals. That's a lot of fun to catch on the jig rod. 
All right, back you go, buddy. One more fish on that color and I might be taking off my <laughs> UV green. Like we're one for one now, but I'm kind of seeing them kind of favoring that one here with the low light. Yeah, I love that color, especially in a jig wrap too. That's always one of my favorite summer colors. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. With the release of the Tungsten Bullfly Jig from BMC, your panfish presentation just got buggier. By creating a spot-on invertebrate imitator destined to fool the most wary panfish, the Tungsten Bullfly Jig is available in nine colors to further accommodate today's angler, including four metallic finishes and five ultra-glow colors, which hold a charge up to 15 minutes. This winter, match the hatch and outsmart the most finicky panfish with the BMC Bullfly Jig. Glacial Lakes Dock is now Glacial Lakes Recreation. Located in Starbuck, Minnesota, we offer the same great location, staff, and service with a new name to better fit our ever-expanding business. As an authorized dealer and service center for Yeti and now Alumalite Ice Houses, we have you covered if you're looking for a new house or just need a little service. Stop in today or check us out online at glaciallakesrec.com and make this ice season your most enjoyable and comfortable ever. Boom! That, one that was one of those that I like. He charged it pretty hard, didn't charged he? Charged it and thumped. Oh! Another first break, special pat. <laughs> nice little Mille Lacs walleye. And again, I, I've switched a couple times, but I keep coming back. I know Pat's on the globe perch. I keep coming back to this UV green. I've got so much confidence in this color out here especially when you have these overcast skies. And that's the, the funny part about Mille Lacs is people think because it's so clear, because it's whatever, and I don't have a reason why, but UV colors out here really stand out mornings, evenings, and when you have overcast skies. So remember when you guys come up here, make sure you have a box full of UV stuff. There he is. <laughs> Not oh. a big one, but I'll take him getting to be that time of night. We're hoping things really start to heat up here. And it's starting to. Brad just had one. I missed a nice fish. See that year class, what is that? That? It's probably a three-year-old. Three-year-old fish, yeah. yeah. That's the thing, everyone, you hear about the 2019 year class, but you don't hear about all the other sizes of fish in here. Oh yeah, I mean, that's. there's no way that's older than three. No, there's no way. Getting back, I just switched colors and switched to a rattle spoon versus that tumbler. That tumbler I love during the day, it has a lot of flash to it, but rattle I like a little bit more. Once you get to those low light periods, it makes a little bit more noise down there. And also you can get down there faster. It stays right down underneath your cone. I got one coming up here. Ooh, 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 ooh. You need help? No, I got him. He just got a little rowdy on me, Pat. <laughs> Come, ooh, yep. There we go. First break special right there. Mille Lacs first break is the home of the 18 to uh, 19 inch fish. But I'll tell you what, if you can sit and have a day like me and Pat had where it wasn't ideal. You know, we get out here, we didn't get to fish where we normally would get to fish. Kind of hunting or pecked our way out here, made sure we were like just staying safe. And honestly, I don't think it's been a bad day, Pat. Oh, heck no. I mean, we're putting up good numbers. Putting up good numbers, having a fun time. There he is. Oh yeah, that one's a little oh. better. Decent we're going one fish. One for one now. Oh yeah. This is that, that I love that Malax like witching hour. You know. Mm-hmm. You know what's gonna happen. You start getting a little nervous. You're like, is it gonna happen? Are we on the wrong spot? And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh no, here they are. Here they are. Here's your run. <laughs> nice fish there. Beauty. That's another one of those 2021s. 
Ooh, that's a nice one, Pat. Mm -hmm. And like I said, with that rattle spoon, I love fishing those because you can get them right back down the hole fast. And this time of day, that's what it's all about. Fire that one back, get down and get another one. Luckily, I got a bait bucket right next to me. Another one. Oh, I didn't Wasn't take even long. looking at the screen on that one. Ah, I got one too. Double? Double. Whoa! First double of the day, Pat. <laughs> Mine doesn't feel huge. No, this one either. I'm gonna take him though. Yeah. This is what Pat was talking about. You know, you relax, sun starts to go down, you start getting doubles. You know, it's just, it's a fun place to fish. You know, the fishing's pretty consistent. Oh yeah, kissing cousins. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> No, there's something special about Mille Lacs, early ice, that dusk bite right when it's getting dark. It's fast and furious. And the cool part, you could almost set your clock by it. I mean, like you were saying earlier, you kind of, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? You kind of doubt yourself a little mm -hmm. bit. And the next thing you know, six, eight, ten fish just come boop, 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 boop. You know? Yeah, so if you come out to Mille Lacs, do make sure you wait till it gets dark. Yeah, it's... you don't want to be that guy that like bails at <laughs> what, 3.30 because you've only caught 10 fish. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just staying put and you know, staying put, being confident in your spot, especially if you caught 15, 20 fish, don't move. No. Like no. they're, they're going to turn on fire eventually. No, right in the evening you'll, you'll catch that many again in about half an hour. Which is fun. <laughs> yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> That's going to do it for this week's episode. We had a lot of fun out there. You know, once we found an area that wasn't shifting around, we knew we were safe on that ice on the first break. We kind of just camped it out. You know, we sat there the whole day. We picked fish off from kind of mid morning to late afternoon. And then we had that great evening bite like Mille Lacs is always famous for right at that last light. And if you want to get out on a great bite on Mille Lacs, you know, the weather's going to get better here throughout the winter. Brad's going to have wheelhouses out there. He also runs portables. So if you're looking to get out on a great bite, either overnight on a wheelhouse or just chasing fish out on the mud flats, give Brad a call. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.